Let's see how efficient is the full wave rectifier. Efficiency of full wave rectifier is equal to ratio of output DC power across the load to the input AC power. Efficiency is generally represented in terms of percentage. So percentage efficiency is equal to output DC power, output DC power divided by input AC power, input AC power. We already know power is equal to power is equal to I square multiplied by R. So output DC power is equal to I DC square I DC square multiplied by R where R is the load resistance divided by I RMS square I RMS square multiplied by R. This is the input AC power. This R and this R will cancel out and we are left with I DC square divided by I RMS square. I DC I DC or I average is equal to twice of I M divided by pi and I RMS I RMS is equal to I M divided by root 2. So we have 4 I M square 4 I M square divided by pi square divided by I M square divided by 2 multiplied by 100 this m square and this m square will cancel out and we have 8 divided by pi square multiplied by 100 when you solve this you will have efficiency you will have efficiency equal to 81.13 percent so this is the efficiency of full wave rectifier and if you remember the half wave rectifier presentations the efficiency was the efficiency was equal to 40.56% in case of half wave rectifier circuit. So by using the full wave rectifiers, by using the full wave rectifiers, we can increase the efficiency by more than 40%. Now we will calculate the peak inverse voltage, the peak inverse voltage for full wave rectifier. In short, it is called as PIV, peak inverse voltage. We have two circuits for full wave rectification. The first one is full wave bridge rectifier and the second one is full wave center tab rectifier. The peak inverse voltage is different for these two circuits. So first I will calculate the peak inverse voltage for this circuit, the full wave bridge rectifier circuit. The peak inverse voltage will be same for all the four diodes. So you can calculate the PIV for any of them. I will calculate PIV for this diode and we have to reverse bias this diode. So plus minus will be the polarity. Vm is the maximum or peak input voltage. Peak inverse voltage is the maximum value of reverse bias voltage that we can apply across the diode before the diode enters to the Zener or breakdown region. So we have to work with the maximum input voltage that is Vm. This diode will be reverse biased. This diode will be reverse biased. This diode and this diode will be forward biased. So I will replace I will replace these two diodes with open circuit and I will replace these two diodes with short circuit. I am considering the ideal diodes. We have short circuit here and here and here we have open circuit. Here we have open circuit. The resistance is R and voltage across the resistance is VO. First I will calculate VO then we will calculate the peak inverse voltage the peak inverse voltage of this diode I will find out I will find out VO by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law this is the direction of the current plus to minus we have plus of VM from here we have plus of VM then we have minus of minus of VO equal to zero so VO is equal to VM Vm is the voltage across this resistance. Now I will use Kirchhoff's voltage law again in this loop to obtain PIV. We have minus of Vo, minus of Vo plus of PIV plus of PIV equal to zero. Minus of Vo means minus of Vm. So peak inverse voltage is equal to Vm. This is what we have in the bridge rectifier circuit and we already know peak inverse voltage must be greater than or equal to the maximum applied voltage. So peak inverse voltage should be greater than or equal to Vm. 
now we will move to the second circuit the center tapped circuit this is diode D1 this is diode D2 and both the diodes will have the same PIV so I will calculate the peak inverse voltage for diode D1 and we have to reverse bias it so this will be the polarity of the input voltage here we have minus plus minus plus Vm Vm this diode will be reverse biased and this diode will be forward biased so I will replace this diode with open circuit and I will replace this diode with short circuit like this I will use Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop to obtain the output voltage VO we have plus of Vm minus of VO equal to 0 plus of Vm minus of VO equal to 0 so output voltage is equal to Vm now I will use Kirchhoff's voltage law in this loop to obtain to obtain the peak inverse voltage for diode D1 this will be the direction of the current we have plus of VO plus of VO minus of PIV plus of VM plus of VM equal to 0 VO is equal to VM so peak inverse voltage is equal to twice of VM and peak inverse voltage peak inverse voltage must be greater than or equal to twice of Vm so this is what we have in center tapped circuit in the first case in the bridge rectifier case we have PIV greater than or equal to Vm but in this case we have PIV greater than or equal to twice of Vm so to rectify the AC input using the center tapped rectifier the PIV rating of the diode should be greater than or equal to twice of maximum input voltage this is all for this lecture. In the next lecture, we will solve few examples related to rectifier circuits. So, see you in the next one.